she's here. I've wanted a, a vintage sewing machine for a really, really long time. I really wanted like one of the hand crank ones. I've been kind of just like keeping an eye on eBay and I spotted this one and I was like, it's 25 quid. It might be good. It might be bad. Let's see. It's a complete waste of money. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with it. it. I can't believe I only paid 25 pounds for this. I mean, I would have paid more, but I was the only one who bid. <laughs> I think she needs a good clean. She, I need to brush all of this dust off of her. So I'm gonna just brush off the butt of the dust to begin with and just brush all the little creases. Sandy, yeah. is it crevices? <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> crevices. 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 <laughs> been in a garage forever. I feel like this is a good time to mention I'm allergic to dust. <clears throat> So I've dusted off all of the dust and I'm going to try a thing that I saw by a guy on YouTube, probably link it down below. Oh yeah, I basically, uh, I saw a tip to use a uh, machine oil, the like the nice one to kind of clean the machine in a way. Uh, so I'm going to try and do that and see how that works. I'm gonna be a bit careful with it though. I don't want to like accidentally rub something off. It's actually quite nice. I'm being very gentle in my rubbing. I don't want to accidentally rub off the all the lovely decals. Um, wow, you can really see the color changing from like this kind of dull matte to like a proper, nice, dark black. It's really lovely. I'm using a um, microfiber cloth to be extra careful with it, just so that it's, you know, because she's really old. I don't want her to, you know, become more damaged. Though I did buy her to use her so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna cry if these decals, you know, disappear because obviously I'm gonna use her. It's gonna be fabric running through. I'm gonna try and oil inside here. Take the thingy off. moving 
They're actually move, moving quite softly. I'm going to pop a little bit of oil in there just, you know, because I don't think it's been oiled for a while. To be completely honest, I don't actually know how much um, oil it needs. <laughs> so the, the squeaking is from the handle here. Uh, I don't know if it would help to oil it since it's wood, but I could try. Um, and there's also like a little moment, clinking noise. And that is because this bit, I'll show you. Whoop. This bit here, that's connected. Basically, it's what makes the makes the makes the wheel spin. Um, it has covered with like a little bit of leather to make it stop clinging. And I'm guessing they put that leather on when it was kind of new. After a really long time of usage, basically it's rubbed through. So it's rubbed through the fabric. So it's clinking against the sides. Uh, so I might replace that. It's a little bit gross. <laughs> noticed when I was trying to thread it earlier that there's a piece here missing the little um, tension spinner I had quite um, an issue trying to find a replacement there's barely anyone who sells it and the pages who sell it are like really old websites that you can tell were made in like 2004 and they all have like red comic sans writing and you're like hmm I'm not giving them my credit card details. But I did manage to find on eBay this little boy. I'm gonna try and replace that. All right, yeah, you can, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's just broken off. Ooh, nice. And then I think it's just oiling underneath. And then I can try and see if she will sew. I made a little, little red friend, um, just because I thought they were cute. Obviously this thread is a bit tall. Through the needle. Okay. I don't know if this is a funny or depressing story, but um, my partner's great great grandfather uh, invented one of the boat shuttles uh, for Singer and Singer offered him to either take a lump sum or a pension for life in return for this invention and he chose the lump sum and promptly drank himself to death. So the moral of the story is if you invent something really good don't tell your boss, patent it first and then they'll have to license it from you. Okay, so I realized what I did wrong. This one is supposed to go underneath that boy. Let's see if I can get it to sew. Oh. No! Let's try again the right way goes clockwise. Ooh, the tension isn't that good. Hey, what are you doing? Let's see, and then... It's completely destroying the fabric because the needle is, um, really old um but i've ordered new needles i hope they arrive not and not too long um we'll see if that <laughs> helps it should you can see the the walking legs need a clean it does seem to be working though 
I'm really happy. I'm happy that she works, at least so far. Uh, I'll obviously have to figure out the tension and stuff when I get new needles. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I'm very excited to start trying to sew projects on her. I've discovered that this handle uh, is actually loose. It's lost this uh, pin, uh, but I've managed to, I stole this one and I'm thinking of just popping it in there and then see if I can <coughs> Well, since I um, lost that nail and <laughs> I can't find it, I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, you know, it still works. It's not, I don't think it's gonna fall off easily. I'm actually really happy with this purchase. For 25 quid, I've gotten it to work and I only bought like machine oil and, oh yeah, I had to buy this spring thing that cost me 11 pounds, which is like almost half of what the machine cost me. I mean, you know, a vintage sewing machine that's a hundred years older than me is um, for what, what have I spent on it? Like 50 quid? Nothing, it's a really nice little experiment to get to know the machine and to kind of see how it works and I love I love tinkering with things I love taking it apart and like honestly just like this thing serotonin yeah don't sew without <laughs> don't sew without any fabric there uh, it doesn't like that it just gets caught but yeah I need to find out a name for her. I've got my... My modern sewing machine is called Wonder Woman because I'm incredibly unoriginal. I do think since this lady was made in Glasgow, it might be nice to have like a proper Glaswegian old lady name. Hey Sandy. What's a classic old lady Glaswegian name? What's your grandma called? Nina. Oh. It's a Norwegian name as well. Hmm. I'll have a think about it. I'm very excited to see what I'm gonna make on this. I want to actually use her. It would be really funny to make an outfit like from 1896 on my 1896 machine. I think that would be quite fun. See you later, alligator. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment below and all that call to action jazz. Or whatever. <laughs>